This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I set my model to be translucent when using floor grid reference images? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere here loaded in. And the question is asking about using the floor grid reference images. So I'm just going to open up Lightbox quick by pressing comma on my keyboard, and then I'm going to navigate to the top here to the grids folder. And then in here, we have two grid projects that we can load in. And I'm just going to select the Spencer Human Skull Grid project here and double click. And these are going to load in those reference images. Now, if I zoom out and rotate around, you can see that I have these grid planes set up now and I have reference images on them. So the question is asking about how to get my model now to be translucent so I can see these reference images as I sculpt my mesh. So to do this, we just need to navigate to the draw palette up here, and I'm just gonna open this up, and I'm just gonna dock it to the side by clicking this button here. And this is just going to dock the draw palette over on the side here. And if I scroll down a little bit in here, you'll see the options or the area that controls the reference images for the grids. So if I open up the front back area, the up, down, or the left, right, you'll see these are where all the images are loaded in to be applied to those grid planes. Now at the very top here, we have a fill mode slider and a front button. So if I just rotate my scene a little bit here and just activate this front option here, this is going to place that reference image in front of my mesh. And as you can see, just by activating this option, my sphere has now become translucent and I can see the reference image behind it. And no matter which view you rotate into, you're going to be able to see that reference image. So even if you go behind the grid plane there, you're still going to be able to see that reference image. Now, in addition to just activating this front option, which is going to allow you to turn your mesh translucent and see the grid reference image, you can also change this fill mode option here. Now, if you hover over any of the buttons or UI elements inside of ZBrush and you press Control, you're going to get this little cheat sheet that's going to pop up. And this will tell you what the options are going to do. So at a fill mode of zero, it's going to turn off all the reference images. At a fill mode of one, it's going to keep the reference image at 25% opacity. At a fill mode of two, it's going to change the reference image to 50% opacity. And a fill mode of three will allow you to control the transparency levels with the enhance factor and enhance opacity sliders. So I'm just going to set this to zero here quick so you can see what that does. And this is just disabling the reference images on the grid plane. So you can see none of those images are now loaded. If I change this to one, I'm getting that 25% opacity. If I change it to two, I'm getting a 50% opacity. And then if I change it to three, you'll notice that these enhance factor and enhance opacity sliders become active. And you can come through and change how this is being applied to your mesh here. So this is really handy for coming through and changing how that grid and the mesh are going to function together. Now, in addition to just seeing through your model, you also have a project on mesh option. So I'm gonna set this back to say two and then activate the project on mesh. And with project on mesh, it's going to take your grid reference and it's going to now project it on the surface of your model. So as you can see, as I rotate to those different views, the projected image is changing. So now I'm looking at my sphere on the right side and I'm seeing the reference image for that area. And as you rotate around, this will shift. So you're gonna be able to see that reference image projected on your mesh as you sculpt. Now this effect is controlled by the slider here. So you can change the value to determine how much of that reference image is projected on your model. And after it's projected, you can come through and use any of the sculpting brushes inside ZBrush and then manipulate your model and the projection will hold. So you have a few options for controlling how the grid will be projected or displayed when working with your models inside of ZBrush. So you can use this project on mesh slider here. You can change the variables of the fill mode and then you can enable or disable the front option. This is going to allow you to use the grid plane to your liking to establish those reference images and sculpt on your models. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!